Hi, this is Bob. Well, it's getting colder out now. We're starting to get into the fall season here. And uh, as most of you know, I worked at Heathkit for a while back in the 1980s. And uh, back in 1979, Heathkit developed the uh, SS9, excuse me, SS8000 transceiver. And uh, as far as we knew at the time, those of us who worked at Heath Company, all of these uh, were destroyed. It was decided that, first of all, as a kit, it was too complex for uh, the average amateur radio operator to assemble. It also required special equipment that they wouldn't have. So the project was dropped. At the same time, there was the WARC, World Amateur Radio Conference, uh, discussions going on and new bands were added to the amateur radio bands. So uh, then uh, it was decided too that because of that, since this covered the uh, 160 through uh, 10 meter bands, did not have the WARC bands, that was another good reason for the project to be dropped. So it was dropped. As far as I know, there were only three of this transceiver built in the laboratory. And when Heathkit went out of business, all of this uh, material was sold to a scrapyard. What I did not know was that uh, uh, one of the uh, individuals that I bought this from, uh, one of his friends, uh, had gone to the scrapyard uh, after the company closed and purchased uh, these parts. Uh, he purchased parts for several SS9000 transceivers and in those parts were these parts for an 8000 transceiver. Uh, this had all the circuit boards and all mounted into it when, when I got it. I bought it on eBay. Uh, I paid too much money for it since it was a scrap unit and it's in very bad condition. Uh, these panels here were very very rusty. I sanded those with uh, sandpaper and uh, painted them with uh, Krylon Fusion uh, and it's a hammer tone copper paint uh, to get as close to the original as I could which was a copper. Now these are original copper here and they're not bad so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to wash it in the uh, sink down here and then bake it in the oven to uh, dry it back out again. I don't know for sure at this time if all of the parts are here necessary to get this operating. And that could be a problem because some of the parts are made of unobtainium, meaning that you just can't get them. So we're just going to have to uh, see what we can do. I do, I do uh, hope to get it operating. However, it is possible that it may just wind up to be an assembled, good-looking museum piece. But I think it's worth saving. One of the things I noticed right away is the same thing I ran into with the SS. 9000 and that is that these let's see if I get a better picture these pins all these connector pins are badly corroded and that's a problem you have with uh, tin plated connectors here's a good new tin plated connector I've just got a couple of these but you can see how bright and shiny how bright and shiny those those connectors are and I'm not able to zoom in very close with that with this on uh, for some reason when this camera is on video it uh, doesn't zoom in real close but uh, anyhow this is the project as it's starting out the wiring harness here has got a whole bunch of wires that are busted or damaged or stripped and scraped and uh, so it's going to need a lot of uh, repair work like on this wiring harness and it's filled there's a wire there that's broken it's filled with dirt and crud because it's set in somebody's garage for all these years 30 some years uh, without a cover on it so there's a lot of things here that just are not connected and all this stuff so I'm going to start cleaning it up and start reassembling it uh, slowly and it may take quite a bit of time I don't know how much time it's going to take I'm just going to work on it a little bit as I can and hopefully one of these days we'll hear some uh, 
some uh, sound out of it and get it transmitting, that would be wonderful because it, uh, it is a very rare uh, Heath kit and uh, I think deserving of being saved uh, for history. So with that, uh, this is the start of a very interesting project. Uh, I should have showed you those panels before I sanded them. They were all rusty, but uh, I went ahead and sanded them and painted them already. So there they are. So anyhow, this is the start of a very interesting project and the very first video. There will be more coming if I get some success, or maybe this will be the last video. I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. But uh, like I say, it may be just an interesting museum piece when I get it all together so it looks good. So uh, that's it for right now, guys. 73s and good DX.